What's going on guys? It's your boy Zero Capital bringing you some Battlefield 3 Operation Metro playing some squad. Well, I guess it's not squad rush, but it is rush. And you see me spawning in right here, clearing out the people, picking up two quick kills right off the bat. And I'm using the M416 with the silencer, the foregrip, and I believe the, I think that's the Cobra Red Dot? I'm not exactly sure, but I have all those attachments. I'm just using the, the Glock with the laser sight as my secondary. And right here, my teammates have armed the B MCOM, so I'm kind of keeping the other people that are at the A bomb site away from the site, so we can actually get the the detonation. And I throw my grenade over there to kind of dissuade the enemy, because I saw that guy run over there from actually disarming it, and I was successful, and the thing it goes off, and now I pick him off. But anyways. For this commentary, and I haven't done one of these in a while where I've talked about, you know, college shenanigans or told a story, so I figured since, you know, Battlefield 3 games are kind of long, I figured I might as well do exactly just that. So, what I wanted to talk about is, you know, that for those of you who started school, you know, you pretty much started school if you're that age, you know, high school, college, whatever, you're in the middle of your semester, and you probably most likely had your midterms by now and you're looking forward to Thanksgiving probably looking forward to some Halloween parties depending when you watch this and you know those are fun look at this the flashlights are just team griefing weapons I wish they would change that really annoying because that guy's just sitting there just trying to grief us but you know if you might have figured out at this point that the school you've gone to or decide to go to the male to female ratio is just not that good. You know, the one I went to is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Um, it wasn't close to any really big cities. I mean, I could go to Canada, but that was like about two hours away, so you had to have a car. And I wasn't able to do that until later on when I actually met people with cars and was able to borrow cars and all sorts of stuff like that. But, you know, the ratio for my school was 40 to 60. 60% 60 male, 40% female. And that 40% you might be thinking oh that's not too bad you know it, it's not 10% it's not 5% but think about this way within that 40% how many of those women or girls or whatever you want to call them are actually compatible with you like they're attractive they're cool or whatever you know not that many you know the selection pool is kind of small it'd be way better if it was 50 50 because then you know the selection pool would be 10% bigger so when you did find a girlfriend or someone really cool, you would kind of hold on to her. Like, you would damn sh sure make sure that if you're going to upgrade to a newer model, and I say that, it's kind of an asshole thing to say, but people do it. If you're going to upgrade to a newer model or a better model, you were damn sure that it was going to work out before you did it because there were just not that many good girls in the area. So, when people did find one, they kind of held on to them for a couple years, at least, or if not all four years, because they sure as hell weren't going to find another one. So, for those of us who weren't that lucky, and I am not saying that I didn't date, you know, girls while I was there or anything, I definitely did, I had my fun, but it wasn't anything serious, at least not right away. And I'm not going to talk about when it did get serious, that's for another video, but, so, what we had to do is we had to go find other places than these women or girls. And there was a college down the road, there was a tech school maybe 5 or 10 minutes down the road. And they had it even worse than us, it was like 30, 70. And within their selection pool it was even smaller. So they would actually come to our school to go to our parties and try to steal our girls. And of course, you know, when they came to the frat houses trying to get in the parties, they look at the ID and they wouldn't let them in right away because they knew exactly why they were there. So they would let all the students that actually went there in first. And, or, you know, if it was me or whatever, I would just walk in because I knew those guys anyway. But So we had to find some other place. I mean, there's actually this uh, school for the deaf at that particular tech school. And it's kind of funny. How that works uh, we definitely went there looking for women <laughs> and I'm not afraid to say that you know some of those girls were actually really cool uh, there's nothing wrong with them they were just hearing impaired you know they weren't like totally deaf like 
where they couldn't hear anything at all for the most part. Some of them could actually hear just not well, so you could talk to them or whatever, and they're actually really cool. So we went there a couple times. Uh, we found this community college in the area, and that's apparently where all the hotties went. Like, we tried everywhere before we found this college. Like, we went to clubs, we went to bars, and the bar scene was kind of dead. Mostly dudes. For the most part, unless it was like ladies' night where like the shots were and the pictures were really cheap, and that's when all the girls went with their girlfriends for like girls' night out. And you know, when that happens, you got like a wall of cock block in front of you. You're not getting in. It's like really hard. You're a wingman. There would be top notch. It better be like fucking Iceman from Top Gun or something. So. You know, there was the clubs, like I said, but the only one that was really popping or, you know, actually had people go to it was this gay club for some reason. I don't know why. I went there once because we thought it was like a normal club and it was not a normal club. It was fucking weird. So we never went back there. So we found this community college and there's a lot of really cool people there and they definitely wanted to party. So they would come hang with us on the campus and you know go hang with them off campus and all sorts of stuff so if you're in that situation you should definitely expand your horizons that's why you go to school you know you're not only there to learn you're learning about life you're learning how to live you're learning how to have fun like all sorts of things you know I learned a lot when I was at school but I learned more from other things like if you get what I mean so definitely try that and don't be discouraged um, the way to live life is like you know there's just those people where they're like oh if I don't have a boyfriend or I don't have a girlfriend you know I'm not somebody like feel that way it's not the right way to feel you should just live your life you should have fun you should enjoy yourself and if that right person or someone really cool comes along then go for it but you shouldn't be that kind of guy that just or kind of or girl I mean I don't know how many girls actually watch these videos on YouTube but I'm sure there's some like you shouldn't be that guy or girl that just kind of sits back and just waits and look at this spot right here that I post up in you know they can't see me I'm hiding behind this ATM machine and they're trying to flank us because this is like a flank route and I just keep reloading keep shooting fucking Scarface right here well I don't have a, well, I guess it's kind of M16 not really uh, I guess it's more Tony Montana. <laughs> I love that movie, by the way, especially the part where he like sniffs like a huge rail and he starts shooting his gun and like, it has like the rocket, not the rocket launcher, but like the noob tube on it. It was awesome. But uh, yeah, so if you're in that situation, don't worry about it, man. Don't like feel like when you have to go home for Thanksgiving, you're gonna. I mean, you could try to hook up with some people that you know. That's probably cool. You definitely should do that, but don't like do the long distance thing. You know, try to go to school or go away to school with minimal baggage. Like, don't be that guy that's like, oh, I gotta call my girlfriend every five minutes. I definitely had a friend like that. And he was kind of a downer, man. Like, we'd be like, oh, we're gonna go drink, we're gonna go hang. And he's like, oh, I gotta call my girlfriend first and make sure it's okay. Like, yo, you fucking, you know, we were like 18, 19 at the time. Like, we were like, are you serious, dude? Like, are you married or something? You sound like a married couple and we'd make fun of him give him shit for that but you know that didn't end well and uh eventually he was off the leash and he could actually have fun again he was really fun actually look at this guy right here oh kills me i did not use too well with the glock and i end up dying the scar is just ridiculously powerful in this game and you see my score right there 40 and 4 i'm about to die a lot because that outside area on this map this area that i'm currently in where the last objective is it's actually really hard to get to because they spawn all around here and it's an open so grenades snipers they definitely can do a number on you I actually get knifed a couple times because they're just spawning behind me and I had no idea the footsteps really aren't too loud in this game I mean you could hear them when there's not gunshots and explosions going by you but when it's not like super quiet you really can't hear them so sound whoring is just not as good in this game Look at this. Oh, every time like my character starts turning around, I know I'm about to get a knife. And it's just like, damn it, dude. And you see my score there, 46 and 11. The MCOM explodes. And we get the win. Well, actually, it didn't explode yet. Oh, I die again first. Whoops. <laughs> Some guy spawned behind me, killing me with his AK, and we get the win. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my commentary. Um, I always enjoy making these videos. I end up going 
45, I can't tell if it's at 45 or 46, 45 or 46 and 12, not too bad. Um, I'll be posting more Battlefield 3 in the future and, you know, you guys should stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.